Okay, we're going to talk about Steve Kyers, 124 State. Now, this particular vehicle is under construction at this point, and what he's done so far is basically he's installed a factory Gen 2 AMG body kit, painted the vehicle, he's done all the body work, he's added the AMG monoblocks, uh, the two-piece monoblocks from the uh, SL600, the 18 by 8 and a half, and 18 by 10s. And he's done it up in the blue, I believe it's the blue, black, metallic color. Um, popular color in Europe, not so popular here in the U.S. There are some models that came in this color, but uh, you primarily see this color on the 124s in Europe. And what Steve has done here is he has integrated the best of the 124 estate with a 500E. So you're seeing the 500E front fenders as well as the 500E flared rear quarters, which were cut from a 500E and integrated into this car. So a phenomenal amount of body work and attention to detail. It is. It's kind of like... Steve also has... Most of them are so nice. Original 500E on this car. Um, he has the bump uh, license plate filler plate on the front yeah, of the AMG bumper okay, here. The, 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 the Advent Guard style grille. I rode in a limo. Now, uh, again, uh, we're just going to talk about the exterior and look at the exterior because this is uh, a vehicle that's still under construction. Um, uh, Steve, I believe, also transplanted uh, a black leather interior into this out of another estate. I believe this particular car had MB text in it, if I remember correctly. Um, I have to go off a lot of things from memory because um, Steve isn't around right at the moment to correct me when... AMG bumper on the back. You can get a good idea of the rear 500E flare integration here and how well done it is. And I believe the paint has just been cut and wet, uh, wet sanded and buffed. It is not finished. Um, there is more polishing on this particular car that needs to be done. That's why none of the emblems and some of the trim pieces are not on it right now. Uh, Steve's plans for this is not to transplant the 5 liter V8. He is going to be installing a 3.6 liter M104 on the C36. He's also going to be mating that up to a 7226 transmission. The rear differential will be a 327 from a coupe. Those are the plans at this point. Uh, they may change in the future. I don't know the plans for the suspension, whether it would be an actual AMG suspension or a Bilstein uh, H&R combination at this point. Um, this is going, to, uh, this uh, estate is going to be emblemless, aside from the Mercedes stars. He will not be badging this as an E36 or putting an AM, any AMG logos on it. And um, we're not going to be showcasing the interior. The interior is not finished at this point. But uh, I will give you a small taste of what's going to be going on in the interior, just a little bit. You can see that Steve has a E55 AMG steering wheel. I wonder where he got that idea from. We'll take a look. There we have it. Um, the motor's not installed in this yet. Uh, the drivetrain is going to come at a later date. Um, all the parts are in-house and ready to go. Um, 
but Steve's just not quite uh, finished with this particular product or project. Probably next year I'll be able to do a walk around video and we'll be able to take a look at the finished product, the uh, interior. Um, Steve's plans for the interior wood is going to have the interior wood refinished probably in a uh, dark uh, a black um, burl or a black bird's eye maple, something of that nature. So he's going to have all the interior wood refinished uh, so it's a, a darker shade. Um, and that's going to look really nice with the black leather interior. And about it that I can remember on what Steve's plans are. Uh, Steve did elect to keep the uh, headlight wipers, as you can see, which I think look good, although I would like to see those painted body color personally, myself. And you can see it's in my car, you can see my wipers, body color, but my preference. But Steve elected to leave in black, and they do look good in black. That's a little uh, contrast. That's Steve Geyer's 124 Estate, and where it sits at this point in time in August of 2016. <laughs>